first one. Who is Jensen Brooksby? <laughs> oh, what a magnificent athlete this young man is. There had to be a lot of things fall in the right place to move up as fast as he did, and those things happened. I mean, I think that was the biggest surprise for me, is just the speed of how fast all this has happened. She was in a good place right now with regards to form as well as confidence. Magnificent physical specimen, without a doubt. Goodness me, and here he goes again, Jensen Brooksby. The positivities and energy has been a big part of my game since I was, since I was young, and just competing to beat the other opponent and really competing to win. His ability to settle into what should be a high-pressure situation like nothing seems to phase him. Remember that name, Jensen Brooksby. I'm sure we'll be seeing and hearing that name for many years to come at ATP Tour level. Let's go! Oh. You know, he's always Let's brought go, huh? that tenacity and, and the fight to the court and the skills. That's the no most important thing is to have that energy and it's, it's, it's number one for me because then the other aspects of my game can can fall into place from there. I think it's I think it's a great thing to be called an Orthodox. Well, when Jensen Brooksby's on the court, you can barely take your eyes off him. I think I'm someone who's a great competitor. He's somebody who really is such an intense competitor. Sometimes he can you know get in the face of his opponents, and uh, he really really is intense. Loves to play the sport of tennis. Just big into um, spending time with my family and friends. My parents introduced me to tennis in the past. They had played around the college age and on. Hi. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Good. <laughs> our, our new entry into our garage. You might want to see right there. I mentioned that. You, you did. <laughs> I did. Yeah. yeah. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Me too. Good to see my you. My parents gave me a lot of support. I mean, they they loved me playing sports. They would try to get me doing all these different sports as much as possible, and then they they knew I think I had a potentially good setup to be where I'm at today. So they've been they've been huge in my in my role to where I'm so at so far. Oh, I missed you. Yeah. He misses the dogs though. They got a puzzle of a picture of me. Yeah. He'll <laughs> have to ask them about that. Yeah. How'd you my get that? My sister, his aunt, gave us that wood puzzle. We haven't put it together yet, though. Yeah. You can take the lead. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting to see, like online, people think they know his personality. <laughs> and they don't know anything about him, really. Because on court, he's a tiger, but off court, he's a very mild mannered, humble. Hi. This is a self high five here on the they're, fence. They're so cute. It's a crazy picture, actually. Since he's been itsy bitsy, he's super competitive. Just always has been, yeah. always will be in anything. He was very, very active. Oh yeah, some other sports. There we go. There we go. I put him in every single sport because he was bouncing off the walls, and so he did soccer and tennis and basketball and t-ball and swim team. <laughs> the garage door, eventually by yeah. four, five, six, seven years of age, he'd go out before school. Before kindergarten, he'd go outside and play against the garage door with a Nerf ball, the Nerf tennis ball, you know, just go hit. Then he'd do it when he came home and he'd go out in the evening. He loved it. He'd be yeah. out there for 30 minutes to an hour, just doing little games off the wall. With the visor. <laughs> I saw him hitting on a wall one time and, and I saw his focus and his concentration and like attention to detail at a young age. And so um, that's where it kind of convinced me to start working with him and to start, uh, start training him. We've been at uh, Arden Hills since 2013 in Sacramento. Gets his fighting qualities from the culture of the JMG Academy in Sacramento. It's a little chilly, but all good. Ready to get warm and have a good academy. And then at the end, after the circles, dive into it as much as you can. He's like a sponge. In this day and age, there's not many of them out there that actually want to know and actually learn and what you're trying to help them with. Well, I'm not trying to be an Olympic hurdler, am I? <laughs> 
Got him. You give him something to do, he just does it. There's very few questions um, as to why this, that, or the other. He just does it. He trusts you with it, um, which is which is huge. And then when he sees the results, then he's like, oh, wow, that's right. I get, I get why we did that. Five squat jumps. You want to get this one. All the way down. All the way down. Yeah, the, the period around college and before turning pro was pretty rough for me. I, I had a lot of injuries. Jensen Brooksby unable to step onto a court for the first half of 2020 due to a toe injury. That year was probably the most frustrating year for him and I because he was off the court a lot and, and we couldn't compete. You know, his body was just developing. He had a foot problem, then he had a shoulder problem, then he had hamstrings. A little wider on the Vs. So that was frustrating, but I also think it was good. It made him take the gym a little bit more uh, serious and more professionally. It's, it's never easy to really break through like that, but um, it just added extra motivation from just prove to everyone what I got. It's more about you know, not building uh, a weapon. It was more about not having weaknesses. You know, we, we couldn't build him as a typical quote unquote American player. And I think a lot of people have seen that. You know, he wasn't the biggest, the strongest, the fastest coming up. Throughout his career, for sure, people have uh, not believed he could go to the next level, which I think has only fueled his competitiveness and, and my competitiveness, to be honest with you. Switch. Good, go hook it. Good, that's not it. Good. Stay with it. Don't tank it. I am with it. No, I can tell you one out of it. Our coach-student relationship is great. We know when to push hard. Good, that's it. It's the ones up the middle you don't want to move. And it's very easy to move. Good, move. Good, shuffle. This is good. Move it. Good, shuffle. You don't react to when I say what? Good. Good. You react to when I say anything back. I push him hard. I push him hard. I push Jensen uh, really hard. Switch. Good. And, and the expectations, not as much on the result, but on the effort. Look at the camera and say how much fun you're having. Take deep breaths and do it again. Go. Good. Stay with me. Can I see a replay? You know, I, I demand the intensity and the, the effort day in and day out, and we, we go back and forth on it sometimes. At the end of the day, he knows, you know, that's what's best for him. You gonna be okay? I don't know. Tennis-wise, everything I, I know to this point is stuff he's told me on the court, and also he's helped me a lot, even off the court, in a lot of different areas. So he's like a, he's like a second dad to me, really. That was the greatest experience so far I've had, but just with that atmosphere and just a reminder of the moments I want to be in more often. Develop as a child into a man has been really kind of fun.